So in this video, I wanna share with you what I do to lose body fat faster. And I wanna make sure that you can leverage my experience. You don't have to make all the mistakes that I did as I've done this for a very long time. And at this point, getting lean is pretty much second nature. It's a set of habits, it's a system that I simply run. And I know that I can get to the goal anytime I want to. It's a choice, whether I wanna be a 10 or 12 or 15% body fat. And I don't have to micromanage my diet. And this is exactly where I want you to be as well. I wanna make sure you can fully master this process, really turn this into a sustainable lifestyle for you so you're not really concerned with fitness anymore. So you can really enjoy the process and maximize your results. So without any further ado, let's dive right into it. And the first thing that you can do to lose body fat faster is always make sure you add a margin of safety to your plan. In order for me to explain this, let's go outside of the world of fitness for a second into the world of engineering. So let's say you're an engineer and you got a job to build a bridge. Well, you wouldn't wanna build a bridge that can handle 5,000 tons of weight if that bridge is going to be regularly exposed to 4,500 tons of weight. Well, what happens if the materials degrade over time? What happens if there's an accident and then there's a need for another 500 or 600 tons, the bridge is gonna collapse. A smart engineer is going to build in a margin of safety and they're gonna construct that bridge in a way that it's gonna be able to handle 20,000 tons of weight and then it's gonna be fine no matter what happens. And this is the same mentality we wanna be thinking a little bit more about when we're dieting because there's a lot of hidden sources of inaccuracies. There's a lot of hidden sources of calories that you might not even be thinking about that can actually slow down your results a lot. For example, most people don't know this, but food manufacturers are legally allowed to be up to 20% off on their calorie labels. So if you're eating something that says 250 calories, it could have 300 calories. And this can easily add up throughout the week. And on top of that, the government requires food packaging to be at least 99% of the weight that's declared on the box. So the manufacturer will sometimes add a little bit more just to make sure that they meet those requirements. And then on top of that, a lot of people like to eat out in restaurants, they like to order in. And then if you take an equivalent of a meal that you eat at home that's 600 calories, in a restaurant that meal could be 1,000 calories because restaurants will add a little bit of oil, a little bit of sugar just to make the food a little bit tastier. But then of course they don't know that your goal might be a certain amount of calories. So you really have to be careful because if you underestimate any of these factors, you could be slowing down your results. And there's really three things that you can do here to add a margin of safety to make sure that you can accelerate your results and avoid some of these issues. Number one, you can overestimate when you eat out or when you order in. I typically recommend about 30% can be a little bit more if you notice that the food is very oily. So if you think it's a thousand calories, write it down as 1300, plan it around it. The worst case scenario is you lose fat a little bit faster. Number two, shift from packaged food into more whole foods. So lean proteins, unprocessed carbs, healthy fats. This will help you because more natural foods are not gonna be prone to those same errors like packaged foods. And number three, get better at tracking your diet. Because if you never bother to learn how to track your diet correctly or you're doing it sporadically, you never double check your entries, and then on top of the other things, now you might be in a situation where you think you're eating 1,500 calories, you're not losing any weight or barely losing any weight, when in reality you're eating close to 2,000 calories or even 2,500 calories. So it really does pay off to invest some time in learning how to track this correctly, improving your accuracy, because you will reduce your frustration and you will see much better results. Now, the second thing that you can do to lose fat faster is leverage the one in 60 rule. And we're borrowing this concept from the world of aviation. And what it means is that if your initial heading is off by just one degree in 60 miles, you're gonna be off by one whole mile. So if you're dealing with a bad pilot and if they're not checking what's going on, in just a couple hundred miles, you're gonna be very far from your destination. Now, on the other hand, a good pilot will constantly check and recheck the heading to make sure you're going in the right direction and that way you're gonna stay on track. Now, we can apply the same methodology and way of thinking to our diets. For example, on a daily basis, you can view your day as having four quarters. You have morning, you have midday, you have afternoon, and then you have evening. If you made a mistake in one of the quarters, well, you still have three quarters of the day where you can do well, and that can be a successful day. The same thing applies on a weekly basis. If you had a blowout one day of the week, well, you have six other days of the week that you can make an adjustment to have that good weekly amount of calories coming in that will still keep you on track. So not everything is lost. 
The worst situation to be in is where you let that one meal turn into a bad day, that bad day turns into a bad week, that turns to multiple bad weeks, and now you have a serious setback that is gonna damage your results. By applying the one in 60 rule methodology, you're essentially giving yourself more opportunities to get back on track where you can recover, you can recommit to the process, and you can improve your consistency, which will massively improve your results. So the goal is to fail small and not big. And this is going to accelerate your progress massively on top of also, of course, hitting the like button. And by frequently readjusting yourself, no matter what happens, you're also learning from your mistakes because at the end of the day, nobody's perfect. This journey is going to be full of mistakes. There's hundreds of mistakes between where you are now and where you're headed. And this rule enables you to kind of distance yourself from your mistakes, still stay on track, but continuously learn from them. Now, the third thing that you can do to lose fat faster is go beyond the diet. What I mean by that is that a lot of diet failure is not actually because of the diet itself. A lot of people are so focused on managing their calories and macros that they ultimately fail to realize what's truly holding them back. A classic example of this is stress eating. No amount of discipline with food will help you if you don't resolve those issues at work, if you don't stop saying yes to everyone and everything that's stressing you out. Because when you're stressed out, you're not thinking rationally. The plan doesn't matter. The plan goes out the window and you simply fall back onto your old bad eating habits. And the other example of this is being sleep deprived. It's exponentially more difficult to stick to a diet if you're running around not enough sleep. And even if you could magically stick to the diet, you're gonna be seeing much worse results at the end of the whole process. So sometimes the best way to accelerate fat loss is to improve other areas of your life. And by taking this more holistic view of the entire journey, you're not only gonna get lean and enjoy that part of the result, but you're also gonna be an overall happier person. I think that's really what it boils down to as well. It's not just about aesthetics. It's really mainly about how you feel about yourself and making sure that you're living up to your standards, that you're becoming the best version of yourself. And by the way, I'm also gonna leave it here at the end where I talk about the three things that I do to build muscle faster. I highly recommend you to check out that video. Also, if want to work with me as your coach, check out the description below. I'm going to leave some details there. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well. Hit notifications by hitting the bell icon, and I'm going to see you in my next video.